welcome to digitalpuppets.co.uk. Um, today I'm going to run through how to set up Facebook Live using Character Animator and OBS. Um, the first thing we need to do is go to Character Animator and set up the scene. You can see we've got it set up here. Um, basically you just want to bring whatever character you decide to use, bring it in and make sure it's got a green screen background. I've just made a green screen in Photoshop and imported it in, dragged it onto the timeline. And it's pretty straightforward this part, it's ready to go. Characters there. The next step is to go to OBS. Now in OBS we need to bring in a character, so we need to make a new source and we need a display capture. So we can name that Mr. Chippy. Press OK. Now we want to select the screen display one, which the character is on. And that's not a problem. That's great, we've got the character there. Now what we need to do is trim the the box to fit. So we need to go to we need to right click on that. Go to transform, edit transform. And then at the bottom you've got crop options. So we want to crop this in by around 200. Say, try that again. 220. And these might be obviously different depending on your screen size and how you've got it set up. But just play with it until you get it right. That looks okay. That looks alright for me. Okay, close. Okay, now we've got your, uh, the character set up, but we need to get rid of the green screen. So, get yet again, right click, go to filters, then little plus button, add filter, and go to chroma key. Okay, you don't really need to play around with the settings. You may do, depending on the colouring of your character, but this looks fine for what we have. Uh, close that, and there you can see the character now has a transparent background and we can scale that up and move that to wherever we need it to be. The next thing that you might want or need is well a video in the background or a picture so same thing again go to add a source and we're going to add a media source um, I'm just going to call that video and click OK. I'm just going to grab a video that we have we're going to put that on loop and press OK. We need to scale that to the right size, or roughly the right size, and drag that down behind Mr. Chippy. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention is if you right click and go to properties on your character, make sure you click off capture cursor so that we won't see the cursor when we um, make any adjustments. So, that's it now, we've got the character ready, it's been animated um, live over whatever footage or images you need. There is a way of actually set, um, bringing in a live Skype call, which is quite interesting, so you can actually have an interview with, Skype char um, with the character on Skype, but that's for a different tutorial. Okay, next thing we need to do now is actually set up the live stream. So we go to Facebook. I think you need to have an actual kind of business page. Um, I haven't found a way of doing it through like my private page, but if you've got like something like this set up, all you have to do is go to your publishing tools. And that loads. Then we need to go on the left hand side, go to video or videos, then press plus live. Now this is going to give us the option. Yeah, it's going to give us all the information we need. Now down here where it says stream keys, we want to copy that key. So control C and then we need to go back to OBS. Okay, we press start streaming and we go back to Facebook and hopefully 
it should connect. It does sometimes take a while for it to uh, pick up the connection, but it should do. It's definitely streaming, okay. Okay, now the preview is kicked in. And there we go. That's now on Facebook Live. All we need to do is add in our information, title information, add some tags, what we're about, and press go live. Once we press go live, we will then be recording a live Facebook video. I hope that helps. If you uh, got any questions, please feel free to comment and we will ha uh, answer any way we can. And next time we shall be trying to, uh, we'll make a Skype video, uh, a tutorial on how to set up Skype. Uh, maybe even do a Facebook Live with Skype. And we'll have a look at Twitch and YouTube, but it all pretty much works the same way.